for it. It's in the past, however, the department has done it, um, has done nothing about it, and something is going to something is going to take place. I don't know what, but did you file a complaint? Um, no, because um, uh, the way I see it, um, the complaint process in the city here is um, is useless. I can all I have to do is look online. And I can see how um, others have been treated and how the department has avoided valid com what what should be what seem to be valid complaints. Um, if they don't take, if the department doesn't take. Um, if the department doesn't take more serious allegations than mine as being important or relevant or worthy of investigation, then I have no reason to assume the department is going to care about mine. I actually don't mind you on your recording of relevant video too. Okay, well, if you don't want to, if, here's, the, here's the thing. I've come in here several times, but the incident number and the people behind the counter refuse to provide me any information. Okay. What do you want today? Because it's 5 in the morning. I'm just curious. In, we'll in, in case you didn't notice, I'm wearing my pajamas. So okay. Although it's 5 in the morning. Did I you see, get stopped today? No. Okay. I would say I'm being more... You're, you're, you're working right now, are you not? Yeah. I'm not working. Okay. I had to get out of bed to come down here and talk to you. I still have to go to work in, in another hour. I'm just curious why you showed up at 5 in the morning. I thought maybe you guys... I showed up at all hours of the night. Okay. Well, the reason I'm here right now, I'm hoping that I can, instead of... I've got endless recordings of you guys acting improperly. Okay, several that uh, several that I haven't uploaded. What I'm hoping to record right now is you guys acting properly. Is you being helpful? You providing information to me that I'm requesting and that I'm entitled to. Okay, what are you requesting? For starters, um, I was stopped on. Um, Henrietta and Delano. Okay. Okay, uh, you're probably, I have a feeling you're probably aware of the circumstances already, but. No, I'm not. Okay, well, the, um, the officers involved provided two names and two serial numbers that show up on the, on the list I have of officers' identities, right? One of them, the serial number isn't there and the, and the officer's name isn't there. I suppose it's possible that officer could be, um, could have been excluded from the list for a valid reason, but. Um, what list are you talking about? A Freedom of Information Act. It's, I have a list of, of okay. police officers' names and serial numbers okay. that, that I had to, um, because of the department's refusal to cooperate, I had to go through the um, city clerk's office to be given identities of police officers. Okay, and um, um, so there was a, a female involved who provided the valid name and serial number. There was a sergeant who came out who provided a valid name and serial number. There was a male officer on the ticket, I think it says Warren, but there's no name that matches up on the um, list of Torrance Police Department employees and the serial number also, there's no match. Okay. Um, also, there's a, a bicycle incident um, that took place on Cabrillo and Carson Street. I know you guys are gonna say, I'm not involved, so I'm not entitled to information, but I was involved. I'm the witness. I recorded the, the entire event. I'm aware of what happened. I'm aware of the unlawful actions of the police officer. And for me to file a complaint, I need to be given the officer's name. And so far, on several occasions, the police department has refused to provide the name of the officer. Either they say, oh, well, you need the serial number. Um, and since I don't have the serial number, they can give it to me. But I've recorded several instances where I come in here with the serial number, and the person behind the desk still refuses to provide that information to me. So I, I know that you can look up bicycle stops that happened on Cabrillo and Carson. And, that, and just to so get this right, that did not involve you? Was I, I, it did, not I'm a witness. I'm not the, I'm not the victim of, of the illegal stop, the illegal search, or the false citation, but I'm a witness to it. And whether you provide the information to me or not, I'm well aware that as soon as the city clerk's office opens up, I can go over there and they will provide the information to me. Or I can go to the prosecutor and the prosecutor will provide the information to me. But what I'm offering you right now is the opportunity for you to act as a police and provide the information to me yourselves. Regarding a traffic stop where you were over this too that occurred on Carson and Cabrillo. Yes. yes. When did this happen? Approximately the beginning of February. I also Do you know what date it is specifically? Um, not off the top of my head, no, but I know that um, the victim's name was Roy Robinson. Okay. 
and, I, and so it takes you a second to punch in the location and get a list of all the events that happen there. So we don't need to play a charade like this. We can't figure out. Well, I don't think it's as easy as you think it is. I know for a fact it's easy. I know for a fact it is. I, because it's been, it's been done time and time again when I have someone who's cooperating with me. I mean, Carson Cabrillo, I mean, you just throw in an intersection without a date, you know, what we, we the could parameters start, are. We could start with um, January or February. I, I'm going to guess that at that intersection, there's only going to be a handful of bicycle stops. And in, of that handful, there's probably going to be only one where a person named Roy Robinson was cited. Okay. He was cited for riding on the sidewalk. Okay. And he's riding on the sidewalk, and you're claiming that he was he wasn't riding on the sidewalk at all. Okay. Even if he if he were riding on the sidewalk in that particular okay. in that particular spot, he wouldn't be in violation of, of um, riding on the sidewalk in a business business district as the Torrance law is the way the Torrance law is laid out, he wouldn't have been in violation, but the fact is he wasn't on the sidewalk at all, he was in the parking lot. And the police officer who wrote the citation was well aware of that. And he didn't even deny the fact that he was falsely citing him. Instead, he blamed the false citation on the fact that I was recording the incident with the camera. So he didn't hide the fact that he was being dishonest in the citation in the first place. And the, the victim, Roy Robinson, and I do not know each other. If he wanted to retaliate against somebody for recording him, the proper place to retaliate would have been right here. I'm the one that was recording him. If he wanted to retaliate against me, then he should have done that. Instead, he retaliated against the innocent victim who had nothing to do with it. I'm not following totally. Okay, well, you know, okay. basically, I just want you to provide to me the name of the police officer. That was involved in the stop? The person? Did, I mean, you, did you have some interaction with him that day? Or her? Yes, him. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. And his, the writing on the ticket was perfectly legible, except for where he puts his name. And he just puts some scribble there so, so it wouldn't be readable. Right. Do you have a citation with you? It's not my citation, no, I don't. No, I mean, no, I don't have to say this. Um, um, okay, Carson Cabrillo. If, if you'd be willing to... Um, well, I'm just going to write some information okay. down. I, I'm just saying, that's, that's, if, just if you're willing to cooperate with me on um, those two aspects, I would consider this a... Uh, uh, I am here to cooperate as, thank you very as much. far as I possibly can. Okay. That's, so that's all relax. I'm... You, you seem like I am nervous. Tense. I'm, I'm don't be so tense. We're just having a conversation. It's not, I'm not okay. nervous, I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm angry, I'm irritated, I'm okay. upset, and I'm, and I'm, I'm just tired of wasting my time and not getting any cooperation. That's basically what it boils down to. All right. So you have this conversation with this officer, you'd like to know his name? I'd like to know his name, it's your own okay. case. Okay. Do you know he was working alone or something? He was by himself. Do you remember what time of day this was? It was, um... It was in the morning. I don't know exactly what time. It, it could have been, it could been around. Longer. It could have been around 10 o'clock. I could be mistaken about that. 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I could have. I could be wrong. It could have even been early okay. afternoon, but I think it was morning. Okay, this was late January, early February. I'm gonna guess it was approximately February 5th, but but it could have been give or take a week. Lord Robinson. So, Carson, how'd you get it? Did you end up talking to Mr. Robinson, getting his information? After he was, um, yeah, after he was done being cited, I, um, I asked him if I could find out his name, and I don't know that um, I'd be uploading a YouTube video of what happened, okay. and that I would most likely be talking to the prosecutor about what happened, okay. and doing what I could um, to help the situation. Did he feel like he was He was wrong? pissed off. Okay. He was, he, not only did he feel like he was wrong, the officer made it clear. He was cited. He was he was illegally stopped and searched just because he was on a bicycle for no other reason. The citation was because I recorded the incident. The officer was unhappy about being recorded. So where he would have just done an illegal search, he decided to throw in a citation with the guy as well. How do you know it's an illegal search? Well, because the the cyclist was on private property. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't break any law. So the stop was illegal and the search was illegal. Simple as that. Do you know if he gave him consent or not? I know for a fact. That he did not give him consent? He, he did not. How do you know that? Well, it was pretty obvious because he was protesting the entire time. I mean, 
Did you hear a protest in the church? I'll, I'll tell you what, if you, Milan, I'll give you my, uh, the web address and you can watch it for yourself and make it come to your own conclusion. Was oh, there audio with it and everything? You already know, don't you? No, I really don't. Okay, well, the audio is not very clear, but, but it's adequate. You can you can hear the the you can see the officer pointing at me. Is it on is it on YouTube? Yes, it is. Okay, I can probably look that up. Uh, all right. So January, February. I mean, I'm just curious. I'm just asking questions. I'm trying to figure this out. I I heard your name. I don't know much about you. Okay. I know that there's some YouTube's posted up. I know that you know you have some issues with uh, our police department. Or maybe I, I have some serious issues general. with you guys deleting deleting. You guys commit illegal stops, do illegal searches, and then when you find it being recorded, you take and delete the recording. The take spoilation the of evidence. The recording of, of, of your of your criminal actions. The officers delete their own recording? The, not, well, of course they start theirs at an improper time as well, but they delete my recording of their actions to protect themselves from liability. This happened two times since October of last year. Where somebody deleted your recordings? Yes. Okay. And I brought the, and I brought this to the attention of a uh, lieutenant that I don't recall his name. Mm -hmm. um, on three separate occasions, I come down here and talk to him for an hour. In the department, the response is nothing. I haven't received a phone call, nothing. And I, I don't, don't want to hear, oh, well, there's a complaint form over there. I'm not, um, who, who's getting paid to investigate this? I'm not on the payroll. It's not my job to do the, do everything for you guys, right? I, if I want to make a complaint verbally, which I already have, and there's been no response, I'm, I'm allowed to do that. Are you making a complaint against anybody? Well, apparently not. I've, I've, tried, I've been down here three times and over and, and discussed several things, and according to the department, I guess I'm not, because they haven't responded at all. And when some of my allegations are serious, what happened to my girlfriend? The way I phrased it, I don't know how you guys would look at it. You guys would probably try to say it was legal, but the way I referred to it was sexual assault. What happened to her? Well, let me, let me just ask you this. I mean, if, if you have a complaint, how come you don't want to fill out a first time? Because I've already, I've already witnessed how, um, for example, how Anna Espinosa was treated. How you guys have responded to um, Camilo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, from the Police Complaint Center. How you guys how you guys dodge. You're supposed to have a agreement to meet and have a phone interview and you guys just dodge it and you guys just play games. Her allegations are more serious than mine. So why should I waste my time taking your complaint process seriously when you guys don't take it seriously yourself? I mean, you're here now and you're not thinking this is a waste of your time. Well, it? because because the way, rather than take your complaint process that you guys, you guys don't take it seriously, so obviously I'm not gonna take it seriously. Rather than waste my time with a process that you guys conceal from the public, I'm doing my own process where it's publicly available for everybody to see. I'm going to take it to the prosecutor and I'm going to insist that some of these officers are no longer allowed to testify. Okay. Rather than wait for a pitches motion and for the department to come forward and provide information to the defense that I know they will conceal, I'm going to provide it for you guys. I'm helping you guys out. I understand that, but I mean, if you, if you have a, a complaint and you're going to do it in your own your own investigation about whatever. I've already, I'm already finished. Okay. Uh, do you have an opportunity to fill out a personnel complaint for a, a specific incident? Because it sounds like you have, you know, kind of a broad well, thing going on here. There's several. You guys can do that yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. If you guys decide to do it, you guys will do it. I'm not going to do it for you. I, I'm taking things in my own direction. Okay. And you guys can either sit on your hands and do nothing like you've done, or you guys can step up and act ethically. But <clears throat> and unless you guys want to provide me with a paycheck every month, if you guys are hired for internal affairs, I'd be more than happy to take the job, but I don't think you guys are going to want to hire a complainant. Well, I, I wouldn't think so, like I said. I, I don't think you, I'd be, I'm, I have no doubt I'd do the job much better than the people who are involved because nobody's contacting me. Well, uh, here's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you say you complain to come. And I've been here, well, nobody's I, listened to me, <clears> nobody's contacted me. And this is this is just all chit chat. I've no, already you cut me off. You cut me off. I know. I'm, I'm not cutting off because well, because don't be rude. I mean, you're here. Don't be rude to me. I'm not being rude to you. Okay. So, right. um, you know the personnel complaint process because it sounds like you get you have some complaints about some officers. 